Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Conrad Carr from the Get to the Point Reviews. And right about now, what we're about to get into is a review of the eSmart 60 LED lights. All right, so let's get to it. Five, four, three, two, wow. So first off, you get three different color filters. You get the red filter, you get two of those, you get the orange filter, and you get the blue filter. Of course, you get the two lights, and uh, I got these because they plug in, they're not USB. And of course, the clear diffuser is already mounted to the light, and you can pull it off, and it's very easy on and off. So but that part, not that anything is ever too complicated, I find with the experience I have so far with these lights, but this is, uh, you know, easy enough to put on and off in a matter of seconds. Um, one of the first things I noticed when I plug this thing in is that there is no dimmer switch. I mean, now granted, you could angle it. You got a little adjuster here. It could be positioned um, 90 degrees forwards and backwards. And there's a little ratcheting action in there. I, you know, I love ratcheting. All right, and then on the bottom, at first, I couldn't figure it out. You got these little covers on here, right? You take that off, and these little claws pop out, right? So I'm like, how in the hell am I supposed to, you know, how am I supposed to mount this thing? But then you realize, give it a little tug, pow! They pop right open. So that works pretty damn good. I mean, that's pretty in 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 ingenious, you know? I mean. Like I said, I couldn't figure out what that was at the beginning, but then you just give it a little tug and your little feet pop right out. And closing it up is just as simple. You just pretty much grab them, push them back in. Oop, it would help if I get the cord out the way. Okay, all right. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, okay, no, I didn't realize that. Not only does it extend the way this is, you know, the way that is, there's little additional feet inside right there that you just pull to extend. And I guess that's for a little more height, a little more stability. Um, so, you know, yeah, that that's pretty cool. That, that, that works for me. The on and off switch is on the bottom of the unit right here. Okay, but like I said, there is no dimmer on this. Now, I'm gonna plug this bad boy in real quick and you're gonna see how stupid and bright these are. Okay, you're gonna see how dumb bright this is. You see how bright, that? that is dumb bright. And that's like, wow, like, <laughs> it's stupid bright and you can't dim it. So I doubt very seriously I would use that for my face. Uh, let me just do just a quick um, before and after real quick so you get an idea of how bright these things are. So this is what I look like with both of my Nero lights on. They're both at the 12 o'clock white, 12 o'clock uh, yellow. Um, this is what I'm looking like about maybe five feet away from the lights. And this is what it looked like with the E-Mart lights on with the newer lights off. I do have one kitchen light on above my head, light coming down, but this is what I look like with these lights on. I put one red filter in on the, on the light to my left, probably your right. And uh, it's giving this cool red glow to the uh, left side of my face, you know? So like if I was doing, um, I don't know, uh, I was off the top of my head, if I was filming something crazy and I wanted to, you know, like I'm evil. <laughs> you know, 
that'd be cool, cool, kind of cool, or maybe with some red light district kind of uh, effect. Um, another cool thing about these lights, you don't have to turn them off in order to change the filter. I'm gonna put another red filter in the other light. I took the white diffuser off while it's on. My other lights, you, you, you can't, I guess you could change it, but it makes it difficult because of the brackets and stuff like that. It makes it difficult to change the filter while the lights are on. So if you were really being a stickler for how those lights were being positioned, um, you might not, you, you'd be upset if you got to move your lights around too much. But yeah, with this, with one hand, you could get down on there, boy. There you go. You can slide the filters on and look at that. Now it's the red light district. The red light special all of the night. Ooh, I need to be two stepping in the corner with somebody like we used to do in the 80s and 90s. Get up on them like, mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, and this is how I'm looking with the orange or probably yellow filters on. So it's making my face look a little warmer. And you know, this is actually not bad either. I mean, I could go white or I could go to yellow. I mean, I'm still looking <laughs> go, 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 go. So even though the lights are not dimmable, I mean, if your intention are to put these lights uh, on a tabletop so you can do like what I'm doing right now, I mean, it's dark. I only have this one light on above me um, in my kitchen right now. And I feel like my face is pretty damn well lit. You know, this is this is damn good lighting now, in my opinion. It's better than I initially thought when I took it out the box. Pretty cool. All right, let's check out the blue light. Okay, and this is with the blue light on. Um, from where I'm sitting, I really can't see. It doesn't really give off a blue hue, and I don't think that's what it's intended to do. I think it's just intended to maybe give a colder uh, light, like a, a warm cold. I mean, because if I slide this one up right here, you see how it got, got a little warmer, if you ask me, um, like that. But this, yeah, I guess that's the intention. It makes it a little colder. You know, I got big hands. I can do this with one hand, but probably recommended you do it with two but all right my peoples and now i'm going to take the blue filters off and go back to actually uh with just the leds with no filters at all all right bang dang all right so this is what it looks like with all the filters off all the diffusers off not even the clear diffuser is on and it's just raw dog you know Puff Daddy uh, LEDs all in my grill piece. And just to give you an idea of how I was shooting so you can see, you understand the result that I got. I was sitting in this chair and uh, the lights are in the same position they were when I was, fil was filming my face. So uh, my head was about like maybe here, the camera there, when I was doing all that footage. So that's the results you can expect to get on my, on my iPhone, on the 4K, 24 frame per second setting, sitting that close with these lights on. All right. I don't know if you can see that effect, but I just turned those extra uh, nearers on. They're pretty much there. I didn't bother trying to angle it to the other side of the room. But so now I got four of these lights going right now. And, um, this is what it's looking like. Well, what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to put these lights on the floor behind me and try to get light behind me and see how it affects things. Okay, and now I just went all out, okay? I put my newer lights up and um, I put them on full blast on both sides and I have the E-Marts on the bottom lighting up the back. So, you know what? I think I kinda like the look of that lights actually being on the table and being in my face. Um, if you wanted to call it saturation, I mean, I, you know, my skin looks darker now because I think it's, it, I just not getting a light, enough light actually in my face. Um, I'm still smashing, but still, um, I don't know. I think those, those, like, those lights are cool for putting light in the room, but I think for lighting up your face, I think I need these lights like bap and like bap, okay? That's when things start to pop out for me when they're down. Not so much. But right in the grill piece, yeah.
So yeah, my people, so I put the lights back on the table now. And uh, yeah, I'm going full all out with the lights now. I mean, my, my big uh, newer lights are on full blast. And I got the uh, Evart 60 LEDs actually in right to the left and to the right of my phone um, in my grill. And I don't know, I mean, the glasses, if I took those off, I don't know if that makes a difference. Yeah, I know ladies. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll take my glasses off for filming. I don't know, but I'm the gazelle king. So basically, dang, they stay in the grill. I didn't think that I would use these as primary lights because my first initial, my initial impression when I took it out the box earlier was that they were too bright. But um, now that I'm looking at the footage of myself, um, you know, with the with the phone, I'm realizing they're not that bad. I mean, hell, it makes my skin look nice and cocoa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, it shows the ash of my knuckles. Uh, you know, um, a little greasy palms and everything. So this is not bad. I mean, I thought I was gonna have to probably get something that dims, but. This is not bad. I'm impressed with the brightness. Um, I'm filming this with the iPhone 12 um, Pro Max um, on setting of 4K, 24 frames per second. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. This is not bad at all. I like these lights and I would suggest you know, if you need to get the same thing done, you just want something cheap to put on a tabletop, something like that, I would definitely recommend picking a pair of these up. So the next time, my peoples, I'm Comron Card. This is the Get to the Point Reviews. Until the next time, stay up. I'm pretty impressed with the way this light is. I might end up using it after all. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the way I'm looking with the cocoa brown skin. Skin. Yeah, pretty damn good.